Y'all, it's the end of May in Southeast Louisiana. It's hot outside. It's time to be enjoying your pool. And if you're manually vacuuming your pool, you're wasting time, you don't need to be. When you can get something like this little boobot here for around $260, and it's really gonna get the job done. Y'all stick around, we're gonna open this thing up and put it in the pool. So Boobot sent me this vacuum to test out, and I was glad to do so. I've tested several of these vacuums, the little Aper Seagull, the Y-Bot, and all these vacuums are pretty much the same. They have a motor and a jet on each side, and that's what pushes it around the pool. They won't climb your walls, so they're best for a flat bottom pool, and they usually do a pretty good job. Now, what came in the box with this one? We've got the vacuum itself. Not a bad looking model at all. We've got a rubber flap over the charging port. We've got a power button here on the top. In fact, let me push it. And you can see the LED indications come on to show it that it is on. We also come with a little quick start pamphlet and we've got a box that the charger came in, a hook to retrieve it and a floating hook so you can just grab it. Now, let's talk about this vacuum. So usually the problem you encounter with these type of sweepers is that any wrinkle or even seam in your pool can cause them to get stuck. They just don't have a whole lot of power to push around. Since they aren't being propelled by the wheels, they rely on this jet power to push it around. So they can easily get stuck. Now this little guy is touted to be like three times more powerful than your conventional pool sweeper. And I can tell you this thing moves around efficiently and did not get stuck on anything in the bottom of my pool in its hour and 45 minute runtime. And yes, it did run for an hour and 45 minutes. And this thing, I would say, got 95% of everything off the bottom of my pool. Now, the way these work, they'll have the motor housed in here, which propels it and it uses for suction. It'll have a screen to catch all the debris. And here's the tray. And as it's moving along, this flap opens up and that's where the debris comes in and the screen catches it. Now, as I said before, I've used several of these and they always work pretty well, but most of them do get stuck. This one did not. This one really did the job and I wanna say for a $269 price point, it's not cheap, but it's definitely on the cheaper side of most pool cleaners. And this one will really get the job done. So let's go take a look at my pool. I'm having, I was having pump problems. Uh, so my pump didn't run for a few days. There was a lot of bugs that landed on my pool that sunk to the bottom. When I replaced the pump, I ended up getting sand in my pool. But we're gonna go put this thing in there and we're gonna let it, do its thing and see exactly how good of a job a cheaper vacuum can do in a dirty pool. Let's head downstairs. I apologize for the sound over, but my sound file got corrupted. But as you can see here, what we're gonna do is just simply turn on the vacuum and that power button is quite stiff, but you'll see the LED, LED indications come on and then we'll just throw it in the pool you want to kind of push it underwater a little bit, get the air out of it. And after that, once it sinks to the bottom, it will just start working. Now, as I said, this pool is quite dirty, no doubt. But let's take a look at this thing getting started. Watching the wings with that 
Boo robot has stopped now. It ran for about an hour and 45 minutes. And I told you this pool hadn't been vacuumed in quite some time and I was having pump problems. And I had quite a bit of sand and everything in the bottom of this pool. But let me tell you, it's parked itself against my steps and I truly don't see any debris in the bottom of this pool. So far, from what I can tell, I'm pretty impressed with it. Let me go ahead and say this. A lot of these little jet propelled pool sweepers, they'll get caught on any imperfections in the bottom of your pool and get stuck. Well, this thing ran almost two hours and it didn't get stuck at all. It had plenty of power and it actually moved really, really fast and thoroughly. Was able to get the whole, the whole pool. Um, and they tout that it's got a stronger motor for just such things as moving it around and, and sucking up. And I, so far, I think it's doing just fine. So I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod. I'm gonna reach in here and get this thing out. We'll open it up and see what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and turn it off. I got a stiff power button. All right, let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like in there. Wow. You can see on the screen from where I just dumped the water. Now there is a lot of sand in here and just thousands and thousands of dead bugs. Can you see that? So it's not a spring loaded flap, which I really do like on this thing. It's just rubber. So that'll keep it sealed. No worry about a spring to, to rust up. You guys have seen me do quite a bit of uh, vacuum videos. Somebody's always sending me one. And when Boobot offered to send me this one, I was like, sure, <laughs> why not do one more? Um, I will tell you this, they didn't pay me to say any of this. They did send me the vacuum and I am keeping it. But it has really cleaned um, comparable to what my more expensive models do. And usually with these type of self-propelled sweepers, they just, they get hung up a lot and they just don't have the power. Man, you can see this thing really sucked up some stuff. I can't be accused of cleaning out a clean pool with a pool vacuum. This pool was dirty. My pump had been out for a while. I had put a new pump in, got sand mixed in it, and just the bugs that had accumulated on top of this pool and sank to the bottom. It's just, uh, this thing has done phenomenal. So I've got a link in the description below. This thing's coming in at $269. And I think for that price point, this thing is a really good value for the amount of work that it did do in my pool. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I got plenty more pool videos out there. I've always got something cool to, to watch. I review just about anything. See y'all next time on Everyday Man.